do you explain the baby oil and the lubricants? A thousand bottles of baby oil. Uh, I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was a lot. I mean, there's a Costco right down the street. Y'all see how bro was smirking when he heard the question. He knows that he's cooked. <laughs> You can't get no a thousand bottles of baby oil from no Costco, bruh. Don't nobody even shop at Costco, especially not Diddy. Breaking news tonight, Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. His attorney tells CNN that he is- Well, 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 Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. They finally caught you, didn't they? <laughs> I've been waiting for this to happen, you know what I'm saying? Now the effect Diddy had on this generation has hurt my soul because I can't go outside without No Diddy, or Jacob, you trying to slide to a Diddy party? Like, what are we talking about, bro? We're just brain rotted at this point. And like I said, it's because of one man, one human being, P. Diddy. Now, I know it's not typical of me to talk about real life stuff going on, but today I'm feeling a little different, you know what I'm saying? Not in a Diddy way because this is getting freaky now. <laughs> But yeah, as Kendrick would say, this is a sick man with sick plans. But I guess in Diddy's case, a freaky man with freaky plans. Now for starters, you know you gotta be a freak legend when they switched the whole definition of pause to your name, bruh. They switched it from pause to no Diddy now. I don't remember the last time I heard somebody say pause. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like imagine your name automatically being related to some AO mess or some sussy activity, bro. I wouldn't be able to go for that. Like I knew it was gonna get bad when I seen the interview with a boxer use it and it just went viral everywhere, bruh. It was a blessing, you know, I was... I was taking it all in. No Diddy. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically scratching the surface because of how deep all this has gotten. No Diddy. Because as the time I'm recording this, Diddy has actually been taken into custody, y'all. He's locked up, y'all. He's locked up. And the stuff they got this man on is absolutely absurd, bro. The allegations, etc. is crazy, bro. Because 1,000 bottles of baby oil is <laughs> bad. One thousand dollars of baby oil is diabolical, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, I understand a hundred. Whoa, I don't understand a hundred. What do you mean by that? But you know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. But a thousand is crazy. Somebody's vacuuming. I ain't never heard nobody vacuuming. The day I want to record a banger. Now I don't know what source this a thousand bottles of baby oil came from, but it's not too crazy to believe, y'all. And they was talking about this baby oil was used for the freak offs or something, bro. Like what the freak is a freak off, y'all? And they said skip going band for band. We going freak for freak. I don't even know. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it is crazy. I'm telling you, I feel like as days pass by, we're getting closer and closer to becoming the Boondocks IRL. I know y'all seen the show, but like I said, the allegations were kind of believable. And then after seeing this interview with bro's lawyer, I'm 100% sure this is for real. How do you explain the baby oil and the lubricants? Uh, I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was a lot. I mean, there's a Costco right down the street. And, you know, this is this is consensual adults doing what consensual adults do. Y'all see how bro was smirking when he heard the question? He knows that he's cooked. He knows it. <laughs> bro was trying to crack jokes on some Dave Chappelle mess. It was not working, bro. You're deep. You can't get no a thousand bottles of baby oil from no Costco, bro. Don't nobody even shop at Costco, especially not Diddy. He getting straight shipments, big packages. What am I talking about? Why am I recording this? And yeah, then bro was talking about, I don't think it was a thousand, but I think it was a lot. Like, gang, does that make it any better? A thousand, a lot? Um, sounds about the same to me. Diddy probably had a baby oil store in his crib for all his guests to get oiled up, bro. Probably had my dog, Brian, throwing up baby oil in the air instead of baby powder. And speaking of LeBron, he started one of the generational memes around Diddy. And yes, I'm talking about this clip right here. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, yeah that's what's yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on, bro. What you doing on IG Live, though? Man, my homie gonna tell me that's AI, bro. Like, come on, no. Your glorious King LeBron James was at them Diddy parties. He was in full attendance. <laughs> Taco Tuesday, more like Diddy Tuesday. Oh, that was not fun, I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, bro, all these celebrities going out sad. People coming out, someone they was at the Diddy parties. LeBron James was just the first to admit it live, for real. I mean, well, not really, but you know what I'm saying? Ain't no party like a Diddy party, it's kind of great. <laughs> like Alvin and the Chipmunks ain't even wanna go to a Diddy party. I know y'all seen that. One day, you're throwing back pink lemonades on Diddy's yacht in San Tropez. And the next- I don't even wanna imagine what Diddy would've done to the Chipmunks, bro. Cause I just seen a video of Diddy, Kevin Hart, and Usher, and it was just, Awkward, bro. This man Kevin Hart knew what time and Diddy was on. He was not messing with it either. Yeah, don't, don't, don't sit on the bed at night. No homo. No, just, just don't get close to the bed. First of all, I'm not getting the bed. Let's just put the camera a little this way just so we're not. I don't want my shot to even, like, I don't want it to come close to the bed. Then bro talking about wrestling with Usher over Frosted Flakes when he was 10 and Diddy was. To actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because you always get up early. <laughs> what the?
Puff just this clip threw me off, bro. Back on to it, man. Kevin was trying to make it less awkward. You know some freaky stuff was going on just by the way he was moving. He was not trying to touch that bed, bro. I don't want to know what was going on on that bed either. And what's even more crazy, I've seen people on TikTok talking about a Diddy retrieval arc. Like this man Sasuke or something. We are not going to retrieve Diddy. We are not doing that. No, keep him locked up, bro. Diddy real life need to get hit with that Eisen treatment, bro, after everything that happened, man. Especially the impact he had on this generation. Hey, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. The, the edits were kind of fire, though. The uh, Diddy retrieval edits. And now that Diddy's in a more suitable environment to his liking, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he can find out how to have Bro, I was gonna say more free calls, better free calls. Now that would have been crazy to say. But yeah, maybe he can make some music in prison or something. You know what I'm saying? Some mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't he a producer or something? I'm sure there's some people in prison who would love to freak off, to, who would love to make music with him. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got of this video. I just wanted to talk about Diddy. Uh, Cause it was like, that's all the memes and stuff now, bro. But all jokes aside, I hope everybody who was done wrong by Diddy for real get justice for what happened. And cause this dude is actually weird. He's kind of sick from what I've seen. Keep him locked up. Don't free him. Hey, consider subscribing y'all. I think I'm a funny guy. You know what I'm saying? Follow the Instagram. Come on, spin back to another video, bro. It's every day, bro. It's not every day. I'll be up in like two times a week. Hey, man, I'm gonna catch y'all though. Three crew five. <laughs> God bless y'all. We out, bro. Ah, my ear. Ah, bro, the Diddy. Ah, Diddy. Diddy's ghost is trying to get me.